What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Gonzali and welcome to a show that I like to call Reasons to Live. In essence, it's a bit of an open letter series towards those of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts, just like I once did myself, to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, infinite reasons why you, yes you, should choose life. Now, the topic of today's episode is getting to volunteer at a local charity or charity event. And I've said it before, and I have said it again in my daily mental health tip videos, helping others is the best feeling in the world, the absolute best feeling in the world. It made me realize when I found green autism and helped some people that I was right not to give in to my suicidal thoughts, that I was right to walk home from that river that night. And it can be the exact same for you. If you don't feel like your time is worth anything, Mm, you feel like you have too much free time or anything like that, consider volunteering your, that time to help those less fortunate with you. At like your local animal shelter, a cat shelter, a dog shelter, a homeless shelter, a soup kitchen. I don't know if they still call them those, but you know what I mean. Anything along those lines. Because trust me, that warm, stereotypically fuzzy feeling that you think you'll get inside, it's the truth. There is... It's the most amazing feeling in the world, and it really makes you realize that you made the right choice. So, consider helping others by volunteering your time. Before you go, can we have a quick 1v1 if that's alright? Now, when you're done listening to my ramblings today, please click the first link in the description below. That'll take you to an article by BuzzFeed News that explains what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or text the Crisis Lifeline. Does a great job of scraping away all those uncomfortable stereotypes and myths that have come to prevent a lot of us from reaching out for help. Don't get me wrong, I know it's an intimidating thing, but it's worth it, trust me. On top of that, I put five mental health resources that you can use. Put the numbers to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, National Sexual Assault Hotline, Crisis Text Line, Trans Lifeline, and The Trevor Project. Now, maybe you've seen the numbers before, and they might be just that, numbers to you. I know it can take a lot to get us to reach out for help because it can be so scary. So, here's what I also did. I also included links to their respective web pages, so you can do your research on each and every one of them before you reach out to them in a physical manner, such as calling or texting, because knowledge is power. And it, something that I found personally is that it really helps to have knowledge of what's going to happen beforehand, to eliminate those harmful myths and stereotypes that block us from reaching out for help. Just consider it, okay? I want you to know you are not worthless, you are strong, you are brave, and you are most certainly worth getting help for. Alright, have a lovely day everyone. My name is Matthew Ginzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.